So what can we expect, Amy, from this new season of the show? Can you give us some teases of what's Well, you know, I think one of the things you see is me changing in just being with Matt, just being with Matt and Karen. Mm -hmm. uh, we get involved in a big fundraising event to, with an organization that means a lot to me. They got the bar out there. They got drinks out there. I am running the show. We'll do it my way. Because this has to go. That would be easier than moving the other no, wagon. this has to go. But it was all about, you know, getting divorced and stuff. Like, oh, I don't even want anything to do with Matt. Right. But then it's like, well, Amy, you built up this wall, but who's that wall? keeping out. Is it you or is it him? And he could care less. Chris has been a good, great, great help to bring that wall down and say, you know, he's still the father of my kids, still the grandfather of my kids. We, or I should say, I get along with Matt and Karen. I mean, we're not going to be best friends, but we enjoy our time. We had a focus. We accomplished something really great. And then, you know, you definitely see a relationship between a father and a son. You know, just like a lot of family relationships right. get. And, you know, but then we still get together as family, too. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it, to me, it really just tells a story about a family that's continued to grow, mm -hmm. continue to change. But I think the ultimate element of the whole thing is, but we're still family. Right. It you just know, looks may, a little different yeah, these days. Yeah. We may say things, we may do this, and there's, you know, some tense moments and stuff, but, you know, in the end. Yeah, it's been interesting for me to watch that. Karen and I, my ex-wife Amy, her new husband Chris, in the house that Amy and I raised our four kids. It, it's a little funny. When I first met Amy seven and a half years ago, there's no way that all four of us would have gotten together and, uh, and have done a planned yeah. event. But we're I mean, now... it was shocking. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. why in the world? But you, you look at it in such a wise way of breaking yeah. down that wall yeah. and you helping it, Amy along It took with a that while risk. to get there and it's, you know, that old expression, you know, time heals. Right. And we've gotten to that point now where, where Matt and Amy have moved on to other and better relationships. <laughs> and, and we actually, you know, get together once in a while to Matt and Karen and Amy and I and, and hang and, you know, we have good laughs and good conversations. In this upcoming season, you even have a guys' night out with Matt? Yeah, I felt really honored to get invited to do a guys' night with Matt and a couple of his buddies. He's got some good friends, and, uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, it's great that uh, they wanted to include me. And uh, I think Matt wanted to check him out. Yeah. And uh, see what, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making it work, and it's unusual at times, but that's how a lot of folks' lives look mm -hmm. like, yeah. right? What is it really, though, like working with your ex-husband on a fundraiser or at the pumpkin patch. Is that odd? I've worked with him before and I was very hesitant about working with him again right. on this fundraising event. So I wanted up front, in the beginning, I'm running it. Right, Meaning, you're setting the tone. Amy can cross that line from micromanager to dictator quicker than me. She gave the guys instructions. No, I did not. I didn't talk to nobody. Amy's not been known oh yes I have for being apologetic you're the one that doesn't take ownership or apologize what I meant to he say. doesn't apologize I'm not gonna be the dictator of this all everything everything will fall on me but I'm the head of this it's not you Matt, or it's not mm -hmm. us together it'll be me like this is how we're gonna do it and 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 I think for me I made that very well known because I didn't want to fall into maybe what I thought I fell into early on being with Matt and mm -hmm. having him always take over control and and uh, I was just a busy bee or I, you know something. I don't want to be the reason that my kids don't invite both of us to a birthday party or something because okay mom doesn't get together with Matt, Matt does, dad doesn't get together with mom, whatever mm -hmm. it may be. So you've got to be I guess part of the example and figure it out. Each kid has to figure out where does that relationship go and what does it mean for them mm -hmm. with their father. There was a great deal of contention mm -hmm. over the farm, mm -hmm. the house. What is the status of it today? What's the status of the home, the property? Mm -hmm. Has it been sold? The, the farmhouse definitely was a big contention within the family, especially with the two older boys. Right. And that that was a hard one for us all. I mean, I, I Matt bought me out. Mm -hmm. of the house because I was thinking that this would go in a total different direction and it didn't. Yeah. So it took time, but you know, Jeremy and Audrey have found a wonderful place 
on a little bit of acreage. Zach and Tori have found a wonderful place. So they have moved on. It's still sad that it doesn't stay within the family. Right. And I'm sure one of these days it will be sold. Yeah. That's just so sad. Ah, uh, it is sad. And seeing you all walk through it with the new furniture in for the renters that'll come well, in. Seeing the house as a short rental, this doesn't connect with me at all. That was hard. I can only imagine. That was hard. Because <laughs> that's where you would fix meals with the family. You'd feed the kids. You're doing homework. You're sending them off to school. Yep. So many memories in that home. It's almost like you got to shut your emotions and everything right. personal down. Like, this is neutral. This is like nothing. So this is just a house. Yeah. That chapter of your life is gone. You Even going through it, you can't go there. I know. And look and at this new chapter that I you know, have. Yeah. Mm. I appreciated how you were in, in that situation too, Chris, because I thought you were kind of mediating, you were being sensitive to Amy's feelings at the time and still wanting to kind of be there for Matt, and wanting to, and, you know, he wanted to show off his mm -hmm. new toys and stuff in the house, but I thought you handled yourself so nicely. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah it was obviously a lot easier for me to, Yes, because you, know, you look, don't have the emotional. To look for the, you know, the rational and, and logical solution or, or things when be not having a, a, an emotional stake in the game. But uh, um, I've been very pleased on how it's um, progressed. Tr progressed and, yeah. um, and, you know, thankfully how easy everybody made it to, to mix the two together. You know, unfortunately, I've witnessed some really nasty divorces where mm -hmm. you know uh, two couples ended up hating each other when or when they were done, and um, I'm so glad that we're not in that situation. Mm -hmm. But there is a little discrepancy still going on between Zach mm -hmm. and Matt. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Zach said Dad has screwed over the family. Mm -hmm. So how is their relationship today? Is there a relationship? Has there been resolution between the two of them? Whatever resolution there may be, that'll probably really be between Matt and Zach mm -hmm. and how that develops and grows. We don't have plans for Karen to meet Josiah. Like, they still think they did nothing wrong. I mean, it's definitely forever changed. It'll be different. Right. Uh, but no, uh, you know, they, like I said, uh, Matt gets together, you know, a birthday party or something. I think Zach and the kids were just over visiting them for whatever reason. There'll be a process. Yeah, they're still working on it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure probably proceeding with caution. Mm. And which to me is understandable because regardless of how old your kids are, mm -hmm. you should still consider yourself, you need to be still the parent. Mm. This isn't an adult to an adult. Right. You're still the dad and he's still yeah. your son. You help him mm -hmm. make it work. Yeah. And now he's got his own unit, you know, oh, yeah. him being Zach with yeah. Tori and the three kids. So, yeah. well, I hope things work out, you know. I think they will. Yeah. I definitely time. think they will.